A little people of America, Calais and the Revolution. We're gonna give you a tour of what we use on stage. All right, guys. All right, first, we're gonna take a look at this. All right, this is the custom Frankenstrat that I play personally. I use all my Van Halen stuff and almost everything I play guitar on. This is my signature baby. I built this out of a 94 Squire. Liar. This is my father. Hi, Dad. Dad, he is so epic, he can play with four arms. See, look at this. Or it can look like you're having sex while playing guitar. <laughs> all right. Or you're trying to race it. Moving on. Right here, we have, right here. Carbon MTS 3200 Master Tube Series. This is Kyle Clark's uh, father's amp. It's a tube amp, and this is my first time actually playing with it, and this thing rocks. It rocks really loud. So we're going to be using that for a lot of our shows that we do in the future. This is my EVH flanger. I use this for like solos on any Van Halen trip. And um, this thing I got for Christmas for my father. I love it. I love that man. Two AA batteries today. Of course, we got the generous cables everywhere. Alright, yeah. check this out. This is the school's Fender 100 Frontman Plus. Alright, this amp is what the school uses for almost everything. You know, like jazz band and all that. And Mr. Komet has generously let us use it when we asked for it, so we owe him a lot and we have a lot of gratitude to him. I love you, Toby. You look like a turtle. We do love Toby. Toby. This is the school's drum kit. It's what we use while we're here. Now, our drummer Dennis, Dennis Lee, does have a drum kit, but I've never seen it, Martin's never seen it, so to us it's non existent. So we're gonna move on over here. This is my Crate 100 bass player. This is what we use for our bass equipment. It's got your basic gain, your shape, your level, your line out, and all your basic power stuff. This amp is loud. I love this. Moving on here. This is my Squire. It's not my Squire, but I'm borrowing right now. This is a Squire uh, five string J-Bass. This is what I use on the stuff we write as well, with the additional low B string, of course, which helps out a lot. And this has been my choice of bass. I do have two other basses, but I rarely ever use them. This is Martin's Epiphone non-existent strat. Uh, he uses this every time he plays the guitar. This is his choice. He's made modifications to it, as you can see. Uh, a kill switch, uh, a dual humbucker, and so forth. Reviewing gear. So and here's board. Martin. And here's Martin himself. You can, you can explain your own guitar. All right. Dig it. Here's a whammy bar. It whammies like bow. I don't want to do it right now because that'll put it out of tune. But <clears throat> this right here used to be a kill switch. It is now a coil tap. When I press this button, this humbucker turns into a single coil, but I don't know if you would know anything about that or not. Either way, it just gives me a different tone. It's kind of cool. I like it. These are Schaller tuners, or not Schaller, all parts tuners up in here. <coughs> They screw down so my guitar doesn't go out of tune so bad when I whammy the bar. And got a brand new pickup switch in here. These tone knobs don't work at all, but I'm working on fixing that. Uh, lots of springs in the back. I like lots of tension in my guitars. To Kyle Clark. Want to explain your guitar? It's my dad's 1979 Les Paul Custom Gibson. Uh, it used to be all gold, humbucker, pickups, your standard Gibson setup up here with the tunings. All the knobs work, I like more Ha! No springs, as you can see. Basically okay. the same thing, except... Bad I, it won't stay in tune for worth a shit. No. Well, that's been a gear review it's, by us. I'm Kyle Austin, that's Kyle Clark, Martin just went off stage, and Dennis Lee. Hope to see you soon. Bye, America!